Today's video is on lattices and it is related to the discrete mathematics and here are the few examples and we have to determine the posets represented by the hash diagrams given below are lattices. The first hash diagram here is given below. So here the elements are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 10. So, if you consider any pair of elements, so it should possess the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound here. So, for example, if I take 1 and 2, 1 is the greatest lower bound and 2 is the least upper bound. If I consider 2, 4, so 2 is the greatest lower bound and 4 is the least upper bound. If I consider 4, 8, 4 is the greatest lower bound and 8 is the least upper bound. And coming to 8 and 10, 8 is the greatest lower bound and 10 is the least upper bound. So each and every pair of elements has the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound. And therefore we say that the posets represented by the hash diagram is a lattice. So this is a lattice. And next coming to the second hash diagram here. So, here the elements are A, B, C, D, E and F. So, if you consider any any pair of elements A, comma B. So, A is the greatest lower bound and B is the least upper bound. So, coming to C and D. C and B. So, B is the greatest lower bound and it is the least upper bound. So, B and D. So, B is the greatest lower bound and D is the least upper bound. So, coming to E and D. So, D is the greatest lower bound and E is the least upper bound. So, talking about E and F, E is the greatest lower bound and F is the greatest lower bound. So, no doubt. So, this is, so every pair of elements has the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound. Hence, we say that the posets represented by the hash diagram is a lattice. And next coming to this, so in this diagram, so we have the elements A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So if you consider any two elements here, so A, B, so A is the greatest lower bound and B is the least upper bound. C and D, C is the greatest lower bound and D is the least upper bound. And E and F, E is the greatest lower bound and F is the least upper bound. And coming to B, D, so B is the greatest lower bound and D is the least upper bound for D, F. So, D is the greatest lower bound and F is the least upper bound and F, G. F is the greatest lower bound and G is the least upper bound. So, each and every element here has the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound. So, therefore, the posit represented by the hash diagram is a lattice. So, this is no doubt a lattice. And next coming to this figure. So, here according to this hash diagram, so we have the elements A, B, C, D, E and F. So, if you consider any two elements, so it should contain the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound here. So, here if I consider A and C, so A is the greatest lower bound and C is the least upper bound. So, A to B, so A is the greatest lower bound and B is the least upper bound and if I take B comma C. So, if I consider B comma C here, so here I have to check. So, the greatest lower bound I have to check and the least. Uh, upper bound I have to check. So here for B and C the greatest lower bound here for B and C is nothing but A and if you consider for B and C the least upper bound is so B and C meet at a point D as well as so B and C meet at a point E here. So they are two least upper bounds. So one is D and one is E. So if we have two upper bounds here, so we say that the least upper bound doesn't exist. So if you consider any pair of elements, so it should have a unique greatest lower bound and the least upper bound, unique least upper bound. So here two elements exist and we say that the least upper bound doesn't exist. Therefore, the percent represented by the hash diagram is not is not a lattice. See here, the first one here, so every element has greatest lower bound and the least upper bound, hence we say that it is a lattice. And the next one here is, according to this uh, has diagram, so each and every element has the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound. So hence this is a lattice and here in this case also, if you consider any two elements here, we have the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound, so it is a lattice. And in this case, if you consider, so if you consider the special case here B and C, so if you consider B and C, so it is having the greatest lower bound as 
single element A, single element A, whereas it has two upper bonds here that is D and E. So as it is a unique factor, so if it does, if uh, two elements exist, then we say that the least upper bound doesn't exist. Therefore, the given poset represented by the hash diagram is not a lattice. And this is how we have to represent and these are so many, they are so many questions. In my previous videos also I have uploaded so many questions related to these series. And see, so you will get a vivid idea if you follow these. So if you really watch these videos and definitely you will get an idea whether the percent represented by the hash diagram given below are lattices or not. So hopefully you will watch these videos share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel so it will immensely help you in your preparation and having a vivid idea thank you so much for watching and staying till the end